In this final task of Lab 1, I'm going to review the GIS data attributes and attribute tables. Currently, I have QGIS Desktop open. I'm going to add a couple layers. I'll use the Add Vector Layer button, and browse to our Lab 1 data folder, and I'm going to add the SD48 underscore D00 and the Texas DOT Airport Small. I'll hit the Control key to select both those shape files. Click Open. This message comes up because one of the layers has an unknown coordinate reference system. I know this is in WGS84, so I'm going to select that to tell QGIS the coordinate reference system of this data on the way in. Let me drag the airports above this so we can see both layers. To examine the attributes for one of these layers, I can simply right click on it and from the context menu, choose Open Attribute Table. So here I can see the total number of records, there's 386 records in this layer. Each horizontal row will correspond to one of the features. The data in these fields can be sorted. So on facility name, I can click that header and sort these records on that column, ascending or descending. I can also tell which fields have text and which have numbers in them simply by the way they're justified. If a column is right justified, that's going to be a numbered column. If it's left justified, it's going to have text in it. I'm going to close the attribute table. Another way I can learn some things about these attributes is double clicking on the layer to open up the layer properties and going to the fields tab. Here I can see each attribute column and I can see what the type is, whether it's a string, real number, integer, etc. I get the width of the column and the precision of the column. In this lab you're able to identify the data models, the geometry, and number of features for several lab data sets. You connected to a Spatialite geodatabase and imported a shapefile into it. You identified the coordinate reference systems of data and reprojected a data set. Finally, in this last task, you reviewed working with attribute tables. Knowing how to determine the characteristics of data sets is a necessary step in spatial analysis. In the next lab, you'll do more work with tables. You'll learn how to perform an attribute join and how to classify data.